What is up, everyone? My name is Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to The Right Mindset. Today, I'm going to go over what a protagonist is, your main character, and also the difference between a protagonist and a main character, and knowing the difference between them both so you can add a greater depth to your stories. Let's get to it. Oh, welcome and a massive uh, thank you for checking out this video and listening to me ramble occasionally uh, and to our community of writers and authors. Let's uh, celebrate one another by educating and teaching and supporting uh, the community as always. And if you're new here and you're a beginner writer, author, even a screenwriter, why don't you hit that subscribe button while also tapping the bell icon so you don't miss out. And that's uh, how it is. So let's get on track to becoming someone who has the right mindset. <clears throat> Today, we're exploring what a protagonist is. And honestly, I had no idea. No, just, <laughs> what, what is a protagonist? So what is a protagonist? The protagonist of a story is the leading or uh, is the leading or main character in a book, movie, short story, play, or otherwise works of fiction. They are the person the story centers around and the character readers will root for to succeed. Uh, essentially, uh, the protagonist of a book is the one whose goals and ambitions are a part of the main plot, often thwarted by the antagonist, who wants to see them fail for their own personal motivations to succeed. Um, however, sometimes an antagonist uh, doesn't even care about uh, the protagonist, uh, for example, it could be, you know, the environment itself is the antagonist. Like, uh, you know, <clears throat> they, they, they have no emotional concern over the success or failure of, a, of the protagonist. Uh, case in point, uh, any movie you've watched where uh, it's about the end of the world or, you know, the ice age is coming. Ice, the ice age doesn't care about your protagonists. <laughs> but your main character uh, possesses certain characteristics or should possess certain characteristics that are redeemable and lovable. That doesn't mean a gray, a morally gray character. It could not be redeemable or lovable, but usually uh, there's always a sense of that because if they, if they weren't redeemable or lovable, we won't necessarily be rooting for them. Um, but uh, uh, that doesn't say that an antagonist can't be uh, lovable. Uh, and, Sometimes it happens, but then you're like, I want a movie about that guy or that person or whatever. Uh, but no matter what uh, book genre you're writing, um, and asides from nonfiction, uh, you will need to be able to craft a stellar main character. Um, real quick, you know, uh, a protagonist of your story uh, is going to be your main character and stuff like that. But uh, your protagonist, you, you want to have somebody that uh, <clears throat> you're interested in, that, that that you're inspired by, that you like. Uh, I have I have talked with other writers where uh, the the biggest thing is they're like, I'm writing a book, and uh, I I don't I don't really. It's not that I don't like my protagonist, like I don't like who they are. It it's just the other characters around them. I I kind of I enjoy more. Um, so if, if you're writing a book or a story or a script, whatever you're writing, and uh, you don't like your protagonist, uh, and let's say you do like your protagonist, but you're more interested in the, the other characters, I recommend exploring those other characters because maybe, maybe you find some sort of connection with them and not so much your original protagonist. However, if you're like, but this story doesn't exist without that protagonist, I, I would work on trying to find something you connect with or relate to because your story is going to most likely uh, be penalized for the lack of 
empathy or interest in your own protagonist. So definitely trying to find a happy place uh, for your protagonist. Um, but as you know, I just said protagonist and I also mentioned a main character. Um, is there a difference? So what is the difference between a protagonist and a main character? Protagonist uh, and the main character can be the same person, right? So your protagonist is going to be the main character. However, not every main character is a protagonist. Uh, for example, when writing uh, split perspective novels, the protagonist might just be a single character, but the other points of views are also main characters. Um, Game of Thrones, things like Lord of the Rings. A main character is any character that plays a pivotal, a pivotal part in the plot and journey of the protagonist. Um, so Lord of the Rings, uh, if we're going to look at uh, Frodo, Frodo is the main character, right? But they're the protagonist. They have the ring. They got to get there. And then all the other main, like, you know, Aragorn, Samwise, Gamgee, uh, the real hero, in my opinion. Uh, they have stories too that are ne that aren't necessarily uh, absent from the main storyline, even though they separate they, their stuff influences the main main plot as subplots. Um, however, uh, in this situation, Frodo is the main protagonist, and he just happens to also be the main character. However, those other characters that we follow their perception, uh, their perspectives are also main characters, but not necessarily the protagonists. So what counts as a main character uh, in a story? Right in a story. Well, the main character in a story is someone who plays an active role in the progression of the plot and story. This includes both the protagonist, antagonist, and other active characters. For example, your protagonist's best friend can be a main character. Think uh, Ron Weasley. Uh, but so can the antagonist like uh, Voldemort. Are we allowed to say his name? He did He did uh, die at the end. Of the... Spoiler alert. Anyway, uh, you can have several different main characters, but usually only one protagonist is uh, in your story. If you're wondering, I'm reading my notes that I write out and then I, I expand upon them. I, I expound. Uh, the difference between main characters and side characters is that a side character typically serves a different purpose to your novel. Uh, they might not be directly impacting the plot, but may serve as comic relief, a foil a character type to your main character, or even play a specific role to tie different characters together. Um, a good example of that would be uh, Nick Fury from the Marvel comics, uh, the movies specifically, uh, as an example. Um, the superheroes are of the main characters. It, and like in Avengers, uh, the main protagonists and the main characters are all six of the original Avengers. Uh, but um, Nick Fury isn't necessarily uh, instrumental in in the plot being uh, uh resolved however he's the reason they come together uh so um he he uh fury is like often a side character with the purpose of basically connecting the plot points um but not necessarily moving them forward for example in avengers uh age of ultron he shows up at the farm and he's like hey <laughs> you're gonna just let this happen and then they're like, no, we're not. And they're like, OK. And then the other thing he does is he brings a ship to help the Avengers get people off. But he's not necessarily helping the Avengers uh, stop Ultron, even though they have a massive ship with guns and soldiers and <laughs> what have you. Um, so so that, that's something to keep in mind. The main difference between a protagonist and, and, a, and a main character is. Uh, the protagonist is the driving force of the story that usually is in opposition of the antagonist and main characters support the, the main plot line and some of the subplot lines that ultimately influence the progression of the protagonist's story. Um, side characters aren't necessarily directly involved, but, uh, you know, there are people that they run into like a uh, barmaid or a Nick Fury. Uh, who is basically saying, hey, remember your heroes, go do your thing. And they go, that's right, we are heroes. You know, but um, even in Spider-Man, uh, spoilers, Spider-Man, uh, far from home, the one with Mysterio, 
he uh he doesn't really do anything in there. He's just the person that has the information. And it's not even Nick Fury. Spoilers. Uh, he he's uh he's just like, hey Spider Man, you got to help Mysterio over here. Hey Spider Man, what are you doing over there in London? Hey Spider Man, you know <laughs> he doesn't doesn't do anything. Anyway, my final thoughts. <clears throat> Let's do this. Not all main characters or protagonists need to fit a square, circle, or star. What does that mean? Uh, it means that uh, they don't have to necessarily be what you think they are. You know, you you can play around with protagonists and main characters, and uh, and you do this by keep uh, keep keep in mind the rule that all protagonists are main characters, but not all main characters are protagonists. But the way you develop your protagonists, you know, for example, uh, let's say. Let's say you you write a book or a story, or whatever, and uh, your protagonist is fighting an antagonist. But then you want to write that antagonist's story or a story with the antagonist. They become the protagonist, so they're not necessarily be all uh, kind and compassionate and and good characters, um, you know, because there, there is an opposition. Um, but it's also why. Uh, you know, movies like Fast and the Furious have a fan base, and they're all villains. <laughs> they're all they're all bad people. They're all stealing cars, and there's all these right. But in their stories, they're all protagonists, and they all so it's nice to kind of look at uh, you know, there things from a different angle, characters from a different angle. Um. I personally, I, I believe a great protagonist is not perfect, nor able to do everything. Uh, a great protagonist has the ability to learn from their experiences and become a better, though not always, person. They won't be the same person they were when the story started. And that, that's like something to keep in mind is not all great and powerful protagonists are uh, uh, undefeatable and not all great uh and not all uh terribly uh you know weak and uh, incompetent characters are fools or uh unable to uh or unable to um to succeed and and break through um that's that's where we get mary sues and the and like situations where it's like a Diaz ex machina and let your characters have flaws let your characters get bruised let your characters fail a little bit uh, or a lot of it. I mean, there are some like Blade, um, and I'm talking about the movie versions. Wesley Snipes, Wes, Wesley Snipes, um, was notorious for saying, "No, let me get beat up," and he gets beat up in the second movie, um, and the first movie, and the third movie. And that's the point: is like, just because you're the hero, the protagonist, doesn't mean that you're. Uh, not going to be beat up. And also, to make a protagonist interesting, if they don't have a learning curve, or they might even be amazing. Like, Blade is an amazing character in the sense of uh, he has combat experience, he has really cool weapons, he has advanced strength and all these other abilities because he, uh, he's part vampire, right? He's the daywalker. But at the same time, he gets they get over on him sometimes. They, uh, you know, Frost tricked him and they they put him in the thing and he bled and he helped uh frost become the uh the, the, the blood god you know in the second movie he was fighting a vampire that literally ate vampires and when they fought that vampire was stronger than blade and he still overcame but he didn't dominate and that's something you should be very aware of uh with your protagonists um so with that I would like to say that the next video in this particular series will focus on writing a well-developed protagonist uh, to um, elevate your story and kind of how do we create the protagonist that's interesting to us uh, and not remember interesting to us. Our job isn't necessarily to write characters that are interesting to other people we have to find them interesting and when we connect to them and we have empathy for them and, and we're developing characters that have the values we see that's part of our voice development so when 
uh, audiences or readers come and enjoy our stories, the reason they connect to it is because they're connecting to uh, uh, some of, if not all of the things that we connected to with those characters. Um, so the next video in this particular playlist series will be about creating those protagonists. That's why there wasn't necessarily um, me doing real time examples in this. This is sort of like the setup video. Uh, and then we're going to create a protagonist from scratch and uh, kind of like see what we can do with it. Uh, so my question to you is what have you, what have been some of your favorite protagonists or even main characters in a story? Uh, why don't you let us and the community know in the comments below. Okay, so want to learn more about the craft? Uh, a little bit about the business of our industry, well, please hit the subscribe button and, uh, you know, maybe tap that bell icon so you don't miss out. And, uh, you know, then maybe like, comment, and share this video so we can help elevate our writing community to work, grow, and rise together. Um, basically, so we can get to the point where uh, we keep that creative flow growing as we develop the right mindset. See you next time because that's uh, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be here next time. <laughs>